My partner and I are sitting on our couch watching Lord of the Rings. She is explaining each detail of where the movie is fucked up from the books, and I am holding her hand trying to remember the difference between Boromir and Aragorn. A hundred miles away, my father trips in the kitchen and smashes his head on the countertop. I imagine his face, how it must have peeled back in a thin layer upon impact like sliced deli ham. The heart failure spills vomit all over the carpet. A line of bile dyed pink by pills and blood. The heart failure buys him a nebulizer. And lisinopril and bumetanide and morphine. The heart failure cancels my work shifts. I spend three days every week sorting his pills and cooking him breakfast and rubbing lotion on his feet and changing his diapers and he is dying and I am angry. Because I'm here and he wasn't. My fourth grade play, my father absent. Softball game, my father absent. I need help on my homework and he is at the bar. College move in, my mother helps while he is at the bar. My father is a blank photo album. The thing I remember most about my childhood is the smell of beer and him telling me to never kiss a girl because that's for perverts. Years later, his apology is absent. And if he's going to continue to be absent, then he should at least have the decency to be dead about it. But being angry at dying people is never fair. They need you. You're the one that's still alive and you can't leave somebody in a puddle of their own vomit. Sometimes I want to quit, but then he'd die. How can I go home if he'll die? How can I watch movies with my girlfriend if he'll die? When I'm there, I can't sleep because the sound of his puking keeps me up. I lay on the floor of my parents' living room because the couch feels too soft, too much like my father's stomach, and I can't help but feel my palm pressed into it while my ear on his chest searches for a heartbeat. I don't want him to die, but I don't want him to be my father either. I don't want him to die. I just want to do some regular fucking thing like painting my nails or watching movies or being alive. I just want to do some regular fucking thing like being angry at my dad. Other people get to be angry at their shitty alcoholic dads and I'm still queer and he still hasn't apologized. And so he trips in the kitchen when I'm not there. And I don't have to leave my couch to go check on him. Instead, my partner pets my hair gently. Like, there's nothing in this world that can't be fixed by petting my hair gently. We are queer, which means we have always known how to keep loving even while surrounded by death. And for just this moment, I get to be here, where the couch is just a couch. And I lean my head against my partner's chest and I hear her heartbeat. So steady and strong and here. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.